Hello, what is up guys, Noble Regen here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Um, the last episode was really, really weird. Um, I highly recommend that if you haven't seen it, check it out, because, uh, creepy stuff happened. Um, that's about all I can say about that. And now, I am going to try to become friends with some raiders. You are welcome to our tribe. Okay. So I guess... Truly the Mother Punga has bestowed her wisdom upon you. And your mind has been expanded. That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries. No limits. Yay. Though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. Huh. Seems cool. Um. Be well. All right. What are up with these glowing pungas? Oh, like these are punga fruit plants. These are like legitimately grown, I guess. Refined punga. Okay. Sounds cool, I guess. Um. Yeah, so there's lots of this refined Punga stuff. I don't know if there's like a leader I can talk to or be at peace. She looks looks like, like another leader. newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? You still remember your name, Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. What? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. What the heck? That is... That is weird. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now, hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Okay, scar removed, as if it was like my inventory. Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. Okay. Oh wait, that's that's the girl that I'm supposed to find. Hey. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark. To be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just not quite yet. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave and try to find that guy that. Okay, I'm gonna take all this Punga stuff. Or Punga, however you Sam. pronounce it, whatever. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. That might not have been such a good idea. 
Let's see. What can I combine or whatever, if anything? Uh, there we go. And I'm still over encumbered. Hmm. Anything that weighs a lot that I don't need. The lever action rifle I like. Uh, I guess I don't need the assault rifle. So. Oh, it's right there. All right. Go past the flesh. All right, that's weird. Mind at ease. Mind it. Another new member? What, are we offering a special? Hunger may have offered you wisdom, but it looks like it's still going to be a while before you really learn to accept it. Until then, you answer to me. I'm Woodrose, the tribe mother. Jackson said he saw its destruction in a vision. There were some concerns, but... When the leader says it's a mandate from beyond, you don't ask why. Damn, you are wet behind the ears. Jackson leads us, and don't you forget, when he talks, you listen up and catch every word. Not that you'll be hearing much for now. He's off meditating. Not so fast, grub. You haven't earned the right to go to the Transcended Master's Retreat. Okay. Phew! <coughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. I'm Den Mother. I keep us safe and make sure everyone remembers to eat and sleep. It's more work than you might think. A lot of our members have transcended conscious thought someone's got to take care of them all right so half of the people are mentally messed up because of that little that little part where they take out our brain or at least part of it um may you find yeah i'm just gonna go and yeah you can tell by the way that and they walk as well Be yeah enough gavin let's move I feel like she should have offered me like a quest or something. Um, but she didn't, so I'm kind of confused on what to do. Find the location of the tribal leader. Uh, yeah. Find the location of that guy, but no one, no one is gonna tell me. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Mind at peace. We haven't fun yet. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much i thought joining would be all drugs and magic but it's just the same crap as everywhere else okay guess that's why i trailed jackson to his stupid mystery cave sure fine why not i'm planning on ditching this place anyway if you're about to cause trouble with jackson all the more reason sweet his caves under the cathedral but it's hard to find Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. When you find that old idiot, tell him thanks for all the punk I could steal. Yeah, enough. Okay. Pretty sweet. Now I get to go find the uh, guy and go back to the other guy. Sounds good. Alright, so... We have to go to a wrecked ship, 
apparently. Ooh, ammo boxes. Ten missiles. And I need a little higher lock pitch. <sighs> the funny thing is, is I don't even use missiles. So, I don't know why I collected those. Oh, um... Wait, is this the wreck ship? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I don't know if I did that the right way. Um, no, I don't feel like I did. This needs to move it to there. What the heck? But it's not where I'm going. I'm going like the opposite direction. Okay, yeah. Back here. I guess the quest marker thing isn't working. But whatever. Sooner I find this guy. You know what? I'll probably get to kill him too. Odds are he has some type of unique weapon or something. That'll be pretty cool. Still going the right way. I'm guessing it's just over these cliffs. somewhere over here. Okay. What do we got down here? Alright, mobs. Fun. Oh, and it's running away for some reason. Wow, why are there so many? Oh, it seems like you pick a cave where there wasn't, like, enemies right there. You know what I mean? Oh, geez. Uh, and there's another one over there. Goodness. It's gonna be like impossible for me to get a headshot. The angle that I'm at. Come on. Ah! Oh. Just stay away from the ugly thing. There we go. Now we got another one coming, I'm pretty sure. Wow, there are just so many of them down here. And I have no ammo. Wonderful. Um. Yeah, wonderful. Why am I looking through the aid stuff? Let's see what I do have ammo for, though. The sniper rifle. And that's about it. And this is going to be broken in like two shots. Actually, you know what? I might be able to kill them with like frag grenades. I'm careful. Actually, you know what? It's going to be kind of hard. Ah. Uh. Ah, I'm kind of doing it. Oh gosh, that was a horrible throw. Pretty sure I killed one of them. No, I didn't. Alright, that killed him. And hopefully that will kill him. Boom. Nope. Alright, that'll get him. Yeah. You know what? Frag grenades would be really helpful if I uh, upped my explosive skill. I think what I really need to increase is my explosives and my uh, lockpick. Those would help quite a bit, I'm guessing. Um, Alright, yeah, we still need to go up here a little bit more. That's the boat. 
Okay, I was thinking that other boat is way too small, but uh, this seems about right. And he has a pretty sweet little base. Just saying, I would always hang out in here if I was in. I mean, it's cool besides the green water, of course. That's a little bit weird. And yeah, all the mire lurks around here. But other than that, yeah, I would, I would definitely chill out here. Hopefully, I can get back here without any of the mire lurks noticing me, though. You know, because oh my gosh, ah, he's bad, isn't he? Ah, oh, come on, guy. I definitely have to heal, though. Um, I'm kind of refined. Kind of Give you an RI health bonus, I guess. I literally have like nothing to fight with. This is horrible. And headshots won't do very much to this guy. Alright, yeah, that sucks. I'm getting my butt kicked. I'm getting my butt kicked. Can't really do anything about it. Dang, I'm getting radiation. Oh, don't, ah, dang. Don't come after me, guy. I have to heal again. Come on, dude. I need a melee weapon. Really bad. Jeez, oh, Pete. You know what? That sucks. That sucks. Hopefully they don't come out after me. Um, please don't come out after me. Are you good, man? No? Okay. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure that I don't have any... And I don't have... Oh, jeez. You know what, that did not go very well, to be totally honest. I don't have very many caps, but I do have a lot of stuff to sell, so I think I might go to some type of merchant, if there is one, anyway. Um, maybe at the Homestead Motel there'd be one? I mean, like, I don't know. Seems like something like that would be legit. What is this? Um, alright. Alright, so hopefully this isn't inhabited by like bad guys. Alright, it looks like it's not inhabited by anyone for that matter. Oh, we have a key. 1G. This is the room that we can get into. Alright, so I'm guessing we should... Oh wait, is this a key too? 1K. Oh, and some shotgun shells. Double barrel and some more shotgun shells. Pretty good. Alright, so 1G and 1K are what we can get into. I don't know, like, where these rooms are at, but. Yeah, 1D. A Chinese pistol. I don't really want it. And it looks like... No, it doesn't look like they killed themselves, because how would they get the gun back there? Duh. Oh, wait. Lock a key. Hey. 
And what do we got? A stealth boy. I have so much stuff. Alright, there's a locker key, but to what? Oh, there's a safe house? What the heck? This is weird. Um. Whoa. Um. Okay, this is this is weird. Um, I don't know if you guys read that before I like exited out of it, but this is the safe house for the dude in the mansion, and I think that he's like a communist or something because it said something about like act like you're like an American or something, and. Yeah, it was it was pretty weird. Um, I started a new quest, so yeah, let's. Yeah, some shotguns. Sounds cool. And it looks like a little shootout for money. It's like went down right here. All right, that's about it for that room, I think. And we have one more room to find, I'm pretty sure. Where or where could it be? So we can just walk the outskirts, right? I think it's 1k. Yes, it is. Whoa, that actually scared me. Um. All right. Whoa. That is really creepy. Hey, pint size uh, slasher though. He's, he's from way back. But I think that might not have been like a myth. I think this was like the actual pint size slasher. Wow. Okay then. This is really weird um, I'm kinda hoping that there's like something hidden in here that I can like find but you know maybe not maybe it's just a murder scene pretty creepy pretty creepy Alrighty, um, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, please like on Facebook, it doesn't take that much time. And if you like the video, um, then also click the like button on the video. Uh, comments are appreciated, and please tell your friends about the channel if you genuinely like it. Uh, that's about it, and I'll catch you guys later.